Hey everyone, in this video tutorial we will unlock the secret of generating the advanced SQL query using OpenAI. I'm sure you're all interested, so stay tuned. And before we begin, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and have the notifications turned on. This is Julia from Crocoblock and let's get to this. The new feature to generate the advanced SQL query with OpenAI is available with Jet Engine 3.2 version, so let me briefly introduce you the recent changes and updates of the plugin. The DOM optimization aims to improve performance by decreasing the number of wrapper elements present in the HTML that is generated by Elementor. In the 3.2 version, we applied it to the dynamic field and dynamic link widgets in all supported page builders. Besides, we've added a new query type called Current WP Query. This query type has no additional settings and it always returns data from the current global WP query. In addition, in the new plugins version, we've added one more option to the column's number setting called Auto. After selecting it, you will also see a new column minimum width option. One more thing. We've added additional options to Jet Engine's core, which will appear at the stage of Metabox creation in the Metabox 4 field. And these are a WooCommerce product data and a WooCommerce product variation options. And last but not least, generating advanced SQL queries with AI. So now you can type the needed request in the text format, the responses further received through the API, and the SQL query is parsed from it and inserted into the query. So, let's dive in now. Here is a listing with users. Since it's a job board website, the users in my case are employees. Each user has a meta field, birthday. Let's check how it looks on the back end. For that, I'm gonna go to the dashboard, users, and add it, let's say, this user who has the role employee. And in the personal information section, you can see a meta field of birthday right here. So, if it's the 24th of May today, how to display all employees who have birthdays in this month after the current date? For that, we have to create a query. Proceed to Jet Engine, Query Builder, and create a new query. Of course, give it a name. And in the query type, select SQL slash AI query from the list. Now scroll down a bit and enable advanced slash AI mode. Proceed to SQL query right here and click on this button. In the pop-up window, you will be able to generate a query with AI. Let's take a closer look. In this top section, you can describe the data you want to retrieve. There are also some tips below on how to write a good prompt and also some prompt examples to use as a starting point. For my case with birthdays, I will use this second example. Just click on it and the prompt will appear in the box. The prompt says get users who have birthday on current month and it also includes the meta field. The only thing I will change here is the actual meta field name. As you can see, now it matches the meta field I created for the employee user. Also, the prompt will return only future birthdays 
and that's exactly what I need. Once you are done with the description, hit the Generate Query button. And after some time, a generated query will appear, so either copy it or click Use this query. Here you go. To check if it works, scroll up and turn Preview Results on. Here is the results count and it shows two users. And last but not least, at the bottom of the Query Settings section, you will find Cast a Result to Instance of Object option. What is it and why it is needed? Since it's an SQL query, it returns the items of the default PHP object and by selecting, for example, user right here, the query will work as a user's query on the front end. So, if you have posts or let's say terms, make sure you select the needed one from the list. And that's it now. Don't forget to hit the Add Query button. The next step is to apply the query to the listing. Open the needed one with Elementor. Select the listing grid widget and unfold the custom query section. First of all, enable it and then simply select the query you've just created. We can already see that it works and now there are only two users visible because they have birthdays in the current month. Of course, you can adjust the prompt according to your needs in a couple of clicks. I will use the same example, but this time change current into last. So, there are three users on the front end who have birthdays in April. If there is an experience meta field and you need to display users, let's say with more than two years of experience, not a problem. Again, you can use the same prompt example and adjust it. So, now there are more people in this listing and we can see only employees with 3 years of experience or 5 years or 7 years. Nobody with experience of less than 2 years. And that's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial showed you the true power of generating the advanced SQL query with OpenAI. Share your thoughts in the comments down below, like this video and of course, make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.